All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another music bot tutorial, taking a look at how to invite Fredboat to your server and use all of its basic commands to listen to great music with all of your friends. And Fredboat, I wrote this down up here, Fredboat plays music from SoundCloud, Bandcamp, Direct Links, Twitch, Deezer, and also, it, from what I saw, also Vimeo. So to get Fredboat onto your server, you can use a link out on the internet, but you can also use the new Discord app directory, which is in your server settings. Under apps, you've got app directory, and then you can just type in Fredboat, and then you can find it right here. Click on it, add it to your server, and then once you select it from this dropdown, you can click OK, authorize all the permissions it needs, and then it should be, after saying authorized, on your server. So here it is. And then from there, you can, or at least what I would normally say is you can type in slash help in order to get a list of all of the commands. Unfortunately, Fredboat wants you to go to their website, so you can click on that link to see all of the commands. But for the most part, pretty much every music bot uses the same basic commands because it's a music player. You'd expect it to have similar commands to the buttons on a music player in real life. So let's go ahead and search up a topic. Make sure you're, look, you're in the channel for it to jump into before you search. And I'm gonna search for SoundCloud, I'm gonna search for NCS. It'll pop up some options, I'll just grab the first one, and it'll start playing Cradles NCS from Suburban. Now, from here, you can do things like you can type in slash pause, and then that'll pause the player right now, you can type in slash pause off. I will say, I don't like that Fredboat doesn't have buttons it's kind of convenient when you don't want to type stuff or you're just like doing stuff with just your mouse and you're like playing with your nintendo switch on the other hand like being able to just click on buttons really quick is really convenient so that's kind of disappointing and also some of their commands are should just be a basic toggle like if you've paused the music player pause should just re zoom the music you shouldn't have to have like pause on pause off but that's kind of just a matter of personal preference. But you can add music from just about anywhere. Um, I've actually got this open in a tab here. You can see all the different commands. You can play music, you can see now playing, you can skip around in the queue, you can shuffle, rewind, fast forward, and create your own playlists. So just for funsies, let's go ahead and search on Deezer, because I never use Deezer for NCS. Let's just grab like number three. And then we can type in like search and then we'll search on SoundCloud for NCS as well. Let's grab number two. And now we can skip around in the queue if we want to. Um, I'm not really sure how one sees the queue because there's not actually a queue command, although there is a now playing command. So this will tell you what is currently playing, and you can skip forward in the queue. So as you can hear, we've now moved to uh, the next song. But I'm still, you know, I'm still not sure. It's not showing me a queue as I add these to the list. That might be a premium feature, which would be weird. I don't know, Fredboat... Feels like it used to work a little bit better and a little bit more user-friendly. But at the end of the day, a lot of people just put a bunch of songs in the queue and they kind of just look at what's been entered in this list in the chat to see where it is. So, it's not the biggest deal, but it is kind of confusing. So just for funsies, let's see what other commands we've got. We can search on SoundCloud, we can reposition tracks around. Again, this would be a lot more helpful if we actually had a queue. And it does have a config command as well, so you can configure different stuff to announce the songs that are being played or to not, and to auto-resume or to not, which is nice. But that's still kind of confusing, because I can't really skip to number when I'm not sure what number something is. So that might be nice to re-add a, a queue or something, maybe it's the history. Maybe I should type in slash history. 
Is that what I want? Well, it it shows what I have played, but that's not really useful for what I'm going to play next, but oh well. So yeah, this has been basically a brief look at how Fred Boat works. It just starts, it stops, it plays, it resumes, it pauses. All the music that you want to play plays from a lot of the major platforms except for Spotify, and I know a lot of people like using Spotify, so if you are looking for Spotify, this might not help you as much. And uh, until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll put the Fredboat link, if it has one, uh, in the video description below. You can also just use the new app directory. I think the new app directory works well. You should probably just start there. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!